One of the things the Caribbean is most famous for is diving. There's an incredible world under the sea with fish in the most vibrant colors you could ever imagine. You don't dive? Well, don't worry. Danielle will show you just how easy it is to get certified. Hi guys, I'm Danielle and welcome to the Bahamas. We all know the phrase, sun, sand and sea. Well, what about sitting on the sand, looking up at the sun, but underneath the sea? How is this possible? By going diving, of course. For those of you who already dive, you know this is a world onto its own. And for those of you who don't and are heading to the Sandals Resort, how about learning to dive on your vacation? Got a free day or two? Here's how. We're here with Luke, operations manager at Sandals Royal Bahamian. Luke, can you tell me how the diving fits in here at Sandals? Because I would really like to dive today. You've come to the right place to dive, Danielle. Um, diving here in the Bahamas is absolutely spectacular. And uh, even more so here at the Royal Bahamian. And uh, the luxury all included concept really spills over into the water sports department here at Sandals. Uh, we're very fortunate, the chairman and the CEO are both very passionate about water sports and therefore we're quite lucky we get some very good equipment. So if, if say I, I came in today, I just flew in, I just checked into my, my room and I want to scuba dive today, lead me through the steps. All right, uh, usually once you check in, you fill out a medical form, uh, you come to the class, we do a swimming evaluation, the theory is about 30 minutes, the pool portion, uh, I'd give it about another 40 minutes or so, it's basically up to you how comfortable you are in the pool. For the most part, everyone smoothly goes through the classes, through the skills, excellently. Uh, once we're done, um, uh, we can take you diving the first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, you do your dives, you come back, do your quiz, and you're certified. I can get certified in one day then? One day. So just going in the pool, learning a couple of skills, and then coming out and just having a fun dive? Yeah. Luke, is the diving included in the all-inclusive package? Yeah, if you're a certified diver, when you arrive at the resort, then that's all included. Um, we've got a beautiful Newton dive boat, which is like the Rolls Royce of dive boats, so you can jump on that and uh, head off with our instructors and go have some great diving. If you're not certified or if you haven't dived for a little while, uh, we've got a couple of options. If you haven't dived for a while, you can do a dive checkout with the instructors, make sure that you're uh, safe and happy to go, go back out diving, and then you can dive as normal. If, like yourself, you haven't dived before, you can, uh, as I explained, do the, the courses and there's a charge for those. Uh, but once you've, once you've dived and done the, the certification, you can dive as much as you want here. Right. So that's it guys, scuba diving in one day. In the pool, in the sea, you're certified, you're done, that's all it takes. Okay guys, so once you've become a certified diver, trust me, you're going to want to dive with the guys from Stuart Coves. All right, Danielle, so we got some absolutely beautiful, stunning diving for you today. Um, we, we've, we picked the best sites that are available on this day due to the, you know, uh, to do with the weather conditions. We, we picked based on current, stuff like that. Where we're going to take you uh, first is a really, really beautiful reef called Southwest Reef. Um, the good thing about that, and many other people that work here and that have been here in the past can vouch for me that this is probably my favorite shallow dive site that we have here at Stuart Coast. Um, today, we're gonna start off on some of the shallower reefs. So we're gonna have some really, really beautiful, vibrant colors with the different corals that are gonna be hanging out, the fan corals, the different sponges, tube sponges, barrel sponges. Um, the second dive we'll do after that is uh, on a really beautiful wreck. It's, it's one of the, the best wrecks for coral growth that we have here. We have quite a few wrecks here, but this one's been down. It's called the Will Lorry. It's been under the water since 1986. Um, this, this wreck that we're actually going on has a beautiful um, soft coral cage right up on the top. There's a lot of sponges, pearl sponges, tube sponges and stuff that grow up along there. Um, there's a particular point of interest on the wreck, which is the propeller. It's a very, very beautiful propeller. It's it's quite big and the rudder's still intact and it's upright and you can get some really, really beautiful shots if you go right up and around behind that. So that's what we'll do today. I saw a couple of parrotfish, saw those big lionfish. I've never seen lionfish in the, you know, out in the wild before, so that was great. It's just 
an open ocean of all kinds of experiences that you would find no, in no one place in the world. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, trumpet fish, parrot fish, starfish, every kind of fish you can think of, they're right here in the Bahamas. All right, guys, I got two words for you. Dun -dun -dun. The shark feed coming up. I love to say, and people, I don't know if everybody believes me or not, but I love to say this is one of my top five dives that I've ever done. Um, it's tough to pick the, the absolute best, but this dive, if you thought the sharks were close on the first one, we bring them in really, really close on this dive. It's not uncommon for divers to be, uh, for the sharks to actually touch the divers, their fins to come in, rub up against them, which is one of the reasons that we put our divers in full wetsuits, is because the shark's skin is like sandpaper, so it's a little abrasive, so the suits help protect our divers uh, from any abrasions from the sharks. The sharks, usually, we end up having the neighborhood of 25 to 40 Caribbean reef sharks schooling around the shark feed arena uh, with our divers you know, huddled around the arena, those sharks come in really, really, really close. Uh, sometimes even swimming between our divers' legs if given the opportunity. And of course, it is a safe environment. All the sharks are really concerned about is the bait box and the bait that's inside that box. And they really don't have show our divers any aggression whatsoever. Uh, they're just uh, swimming around giving us one heck of a show. It's just amazing oh, yeah. that they're they you're, in, you're in their world now. Oh, yeah. completely, they know it. You can't get more out of your world. Yeah, and unless you go diving. I don't even know what else to say. It Did was touch amazing. Them? Um, a little bit. Like they came close and then I tried to like rub shoulders with them. They were polite, right? That's what you said. They were pretty polite. Yeah. They were pretty polite. So they, they come, they come by. You can feel the water brush past yeah, your face. Yeah, you feel like, like a that. big whoosh. Did you see the one that had the, a big wound, like a like a kind of yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we call that, that one the Joker. <laughs> He's scary. I mean, I yeah. yeah, and they look so mean looking. You think so? So they look upset. like when they come, when they're coming right at you, and then they just I think like, they look quite cool. They look upset to me. They're I think really they're smooth, like, and like the, you can see the muscles wriggling when they turn. It's yeah, like very yeah. cool. Amazing, amazing creatures. <laughs> Chang, tell me a little bit about the environmental impact that this shark program has and you know how do you dissuade somebody who, who thinks that it's just craziness what you guys are doing? That's as Stuart Coves here, what, what our philosophy behind the shark dive is, is we try and get as many people to come out on the shark dive, um, which as I said before gives them a first hand experience of actually what sharks are about, not what they see in the um, in Jaws, in Jaws <laughs> and open water and the, you know the Hollywood movies that, that portray sharks to be man-eaters and killers and things like that. Um, that is entirely not true at all and that's, that's what we're trying to hope to achieve here is put people down in the middle of a big swarm of sharks. You know, they could be having you know, 30 to 40 sharks around them at any particular time uh, with bait down there and they're sitting down there with no cage, no chain mail, nothing and nothing happens to them. When I first um, applied for the job at Stuart Coves, I saw all of the uh, advertising up on the website and things like that for the sharks and that's why I decided to come here because okay. I've always had a fascination with sharks. So when I came here I came with the intent to one day work with sharks a little bit more closely mm -hmm. and um, just naturally being a dive instructor here and working as part of the dock team at Stuart Coves, you get the opportunity to become a shark feeder which I opted to do. And um, yeah, it's just led from there. I've done hundreds of shark feeds now, and it leads me into things like you're, you're able to work with film crews very closely, take people out on a daily basis, and show them what sharks are actually are about. You know, guys, this has been one of the most surreal experiences I've ever had. And when it comes to diving, I can safely say that it is better in the Bahamas. See you soon. Gone to dive again. Did I just see right? Diving with sharks? Now for that, you don't just need to be certified. You need to be certifiable. To share any of your Caribbean diving stories or any other Caribbean adventure stories with us, just go to islandstyley.com. We'll be right back.